do you have 67? All right. All right. All right. Go ahead. Read that. Foretelling of Moses. One of the kings of the 18th or 19th dynasties was informed by his astrologer. Or so, so this is the backstory of why the the Egyptians wanted to uh, wanted the, the sisters to kill the males and save the the females alive. Go ahead. Or sacred scribe that a child would be born to the Hebrew nation. So they knew that a, a deliverer was coming. That's what they knew. Go ahead. If he were permitted to live. He would bring the Egyptian kingdom to a low condition. So their astrologers, their uh, prognosticators, okay, understood that a deliverer was coming. Okay, and that he would, he would what? If he were permitted to live, he would bring the Egyptian kingdom to a low condition. If he lived, he was going to destroy Egypt. Read. The child was born. His name was Moses. Read on. So he he was, was born. Go ahead. He was reared in a miraculous way in Pharaoh's own palace by his daughter. And we're going to get some more on Moses and how he looked when he was a, a child and all that. We're going to get some more on that. Go ahead. The plot to destroy Moses in his infancy failed. The daughter of Pharaoh adopted Moses as her son. She came to her father and said, I have brought up a child who is of a divine form. Damn. Say, I brought up a child who's of a divine form. Go ahead. And of a generous mind. And as I have received him from the bounty of the river Read. in a wonderful manner, I thought it proper to adopt him for my son and the heir of thy kingdom. When she put the child in the Pharaoh's hand, he hugged the child and put his diadem upon his head. But Moses cast down the diadem to the ground. Yo, Moses threw the, the, the uh, crown off, took it off and threw it on the, on, on the ground. Go ahead. And in a childish mood, he twisted it around and stamped upon it. Damn. <laughs> Yo, you're he a, he a child. He like a toddler. Uh, or, uh, yeah, he a toddler or whatever. Go ahead. The sacred scribe. I think he was probably like three, maybe. Go ahead. The sacred scribe saw all of this. He was the same astrologer who foretold that Moses' birth would bring down the Egyptian kingdom. So now the scribe, the one, the sacred scribe, the, the, the witch that uh, foretold that a deliverer was coming to destroy the Egyptians. He he's studying uh, him now. Like every every movement that he's doing, he's looking at him like, yo, that, that that's got to be that's him, right? Go ahead. Because of this, the astrologer cried out in a terrifying manner. <laughs> he like, oh, go ahead. Saying, "This, O king, this child is he of whom God foretold." So yo, this is him. Remember, you remember what I told you? This is the child. Go ahead. That if we kill him. We shall be in no danger. So that's why they did an inquisition. That's why they wanted to kill all the males that were born. Go ahead. He himself affords the attestation, uh, attestation. attestation to the prediction of the same thing by this trampling upon thy government and treading upon thy diadem. So he understood, and uh, that meant something. That was symbolic of destroying the Egyptians. 